Yo, what is up and welcome to a quick guide on how to become the top of your class from any position, whether you're getting the lowest, whether you're a medium guy, whether you're near the top trying to achieve over your target. I'm going to talk from personal experience. I've done this for five years now without focusing on study. You may have realized by now that all major top universities, they don't necessarily focus on your grades. They focus on your extracurriculars, on the things you do outside of school, on the good habits that you build, the volunteering, the money you've donated, the businesses you've started, the sports you've done. So how can you learn from this and stack good habits into your lifestyle? In turn, improve your grades naturally, not just by studying more. Of course, you will study more and you'll study better. So the first thing is that many studies have found a positive correlation between competing in a sport with many, many motor skills and higher grades in high school students. Think about it. You're exercising. Exercise fires neurons in your brain, which will allow links connect while you're doing random other things. Now, when it comes to actually studying and sitting down and doing the work, writing notes, watching videos, very important thing is splitting the work into blocks of 60 minutes up to 90 minutes and then taking a long break of two hours or maybe maximum three hours in between and then returning back to another block and this is why it's perfect to have really good habits in between like a sports club that will give you a good setup for the next deep work block because your neurons are firing while you're running with what you've learned in the last session that you can carry on into the next session and then what you've done in the second session you can carry on into your sleep as your brain is constantly working you're not actually like dead while you're sleeping you're constantly making links between what you've learned during the day unconsciously set your brain up for success while not increasing the amount of hours that you have to study because in reality the human brain can only focus for a limited amount of time at once so if you split it up that will be better for you. However, a common misconception that people take from this thing that I've just said, where the human brain can only focus for a short amount of time, is turning this into the Pomodoro technique of 25 minutes study, five minutes fun. No, 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 no. This technique is asked. You're gonna open something in the fourth minute and 50th second of your break, which is gonna stay with you for the next 25 minute block. Imagine you just get a message from a girl, which will definitely not happen. So the number one mental shift to be a good student is to constantly be reminded of the things that you've just learned with spaced repetition. Like constantly remembering throughout the day. Oh yeah, I learned this in biology class a day ago. Let me see. What What's the shape of a neuron? Motor neuron to be specific. Ah yes, so you've got the Schwann cells with the nodes of Ranvier and they skip along and they go down to the synaptic bouton. At the top you have the axon hilux and here you have the axon with the soma. It's a soma, not a nucleus. You have loads of, I forgot what them little balls are called, but you know, you've got the dendrites, the dendrite trees. Just like that, I've reminded myself of what I've learned. And just like that, I have kept that in my memory for a few days longer however video games block this system because if you're playing video games video games are going to take priority over the things that you just learned in school because you're going to constantly be planning strategies for your next game and this especially is important if you're a ranked player competitive next thing obvious as hell mentioned in my last video healthy diet which I haven't really talked about the full diet, but supplements and foods that you should be eating every day for academic performance as well in my last video. Make sure to check that out. All of my videos are going to be interlinked like World Wide Web of Knowledge. However, I am heavily suffering from the Dunning-Kruger effect. Therefore, my knowledge may seem exaggerated to what I have actually learned. And there are many, many things that I don't know yet. And... This is also a very important mindset to have when you're in school. You might know everything that is on 
the specification. However, there are so many other things within the subject which you don't know yet. So, keep learning, keep learning, keep educating yourself, become obsessed with the subject. Think about it throughout the day, and there is no way that you can fail. Because in the modern school system, people are so far removed from the subject itself. Now, the next thing is one that you may have never correlated with improving school grades. And me neither, to be honest, when I was younger. And this is becoming bilingual. Studies have found that learning a second language and learning content in the language will help improve concentration, decrease chances of becoming distracted, improve connections in your brain, and overall improve grades. Well, 25%. Let's just say 25%. That's a huge difference. Think about it. English is not my first language. However, in just two years, I managed to get the highest grade in my primary school. Yes, very, very, very cool. Bilingual people do genuinely have an advantage. I'm too dumb to actually understand this, but you have an advantage. So learn a second language, learn Spanish. It's not actually that difficult. Spanish isn't that difficult. Come on. Now, one of the last things in this guide, remember this is a quick guide, not a comprehensive guide. So, one of the last things is a brain mental health reset before bed or in the morning. I prefer in the morning with Wim Hof the Iceman. Yeah, I probably mentioned this a few too many times on this channel in the last few years. Wim Hof the Iceman. Stay consistent with this man. You may not see an effect after the first few weeks. To doing the breathing properly you will feel immense tingles in your toes and your fingers fingers and your toes as he likes to say special form of hyperventilation will increase oxygen delivery and fill your body with fresh oxygen to the brain helps you relax helps you study it's better for everything do yourself the Wim Hof method reduce the depression reduces anxiety improves the immune system and remember that work outside of your school is much, much more important than work in your lessons. In your lessons, you can pretty much just chill and observe how the other people are behaving and how this isn't going to help you at all. However, when you get home, that's when the real grind starts. Let's get the Matrix 2027. Let's get right into it. Out of it, sorry. What? Out of it.